Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now I've got something very interesting to show everybody today and that is an AI SEO case study that will not stop getting weirder and weirder and weirder. So you can see on my screen here we have suppliesofhunting.com. This was a website that we set up kind of uh, just as a practice website just to test a few things, just to see if my collection maker actually worked and much more. Now, if you want to get your hands on the collection maker, you can go on my GitHub. Um, we'll leave a link to this in the description. I believe it's this one here, the Shopify Automator. It's really, really powerful. It does something really, really cool, which is as follows. It takes all of your products from an export, a Shopify CSV export, it tags them, and then it creates collections from those tags. So this is exactly what we did with suppliesforhunting.com. And you can actually see, if I go on suppliesforhunting.com slash sitemap.xml, uh, there are three product sitemaps and three collection sitemaps, which means in total, there are probably about 10,000 to 11,000 pages on this website. Now, let's have a look at the search console for this business. Now, this is super, super interesting. Within kind of two weeks, this happened, which I've never seen this kind of growth in two weeks on a website, okay? Um, that's pretty crazy to have that amount of impressions that quickly. And then suddenly it just fell off, right? And I've never even seen this either. Well, I've seen this a few times, okay? I have seen this a few times. This happens normally when there's too much content, too, much, uh, too many things being posted, too many pages. So Google's just like, I don't want to deal with this. It's, it's too much for us. Then what happened was we just chugged along a little bit, you know, nothing really happened. It got worse. The situation got worse, blah, blah, blah. And then just suddenly, and I did make a video about this at the time, but I, I don't attribute all of this to the video because you can actually see the day before the video was released, we had 25 impressions in a day, which you can see is much higher than anything else that we had for that entire month uh, and also uh, of July and also of August. So you can see here, bang, I made a video which people are going to comment, oh, this is just because you made that video and blah, 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 you're cheating. But I honestly think this would have happened anyway. And then you can just see this beautiful, beautiful curve all the way up to an all-time high of 519 impressions. Now, what we've been doing as well is we have been posting some content with Harbor. It's hard for us to uh, keep on top of that because obviously we have a lot of moving parts in the agency. So I believe there is only one or maybe two blog posts right now uh, from Harbor. If you don't know what Harbor is, by the way, um, Harbor is the SaaS that I have made and that we use to power the agency. Feel free to check out Harbor, harborseo.ai. But we have been posting some content, but I really don't think it's anything to do with even the Harbor content, right? If I go on most recent date, you can see 407 impressions, which would still be, you know, uh, pretty much, not quite, but like a three month high or two month high. But what's really, really interesting here is if I actually go on uh, pages, now this is completely, completely crazy. So instantly, 1,000 pages got indexed, okay? Went up to 1,590. I thought this was just going to continue, continue, continue. Then suddenly it just kind of died a bit. And then randomly it started to go up again, and then it died a bit. And then it just went to 5,668, which I have not seen this before. In all my years of SEO, I've never seen anything like this. So this is perhaps the most interesting SEO, AI SEO case study that we could possibly have because it's so random. Like I really would not expect this. And then another thing as well is we didn't change any of the issues that there were with the website. You can see it says, e.g. HDMI adapter, which is completely wrong. Obviously, there will be no HDMI adapters here. None of these links on the, on the home page even work. They just go back to the home page. I mean, there's so many issues with this website. If we scroll, I mean, it looks beautiful, obviously. Like, th this is wrong. Like, literally, there's th just um, placeholder blogs, which is obviously stupid as hell. Then we go all the way down, and you can see all products TV and video, which is a broken link, cell phones, doesn't exist, smart home, iPads and tablets, wearable tech, and sale. So none of these actually work except the sale link. 
And then we go on to something like general terms and conditions, and you can see that this is just placeholder terms and conditions, right? If I go on cookie policy, you'll see, it doesn't even, it's not in a link. Security policy, it's again, it's a, it's a Shopify template privacy policy, right? And yet, despite the fact there's zero EEAT here, if I actually go on Ahrefs, and we have a little look at this, you can actually see something really interesting, which is 677 keywords, 647 of which are in the US. And we're literally ranking for things like ACOG accessories, right? I don't want to read too many of these out because a lot of these are uh, weapon related and I don't really want to get demonetized. But if we click volume here, we can see there are some very, very interesting keywords here that could bring in huge amounts of traffic. These collections have all been made using my uh, collection automator, which again, you can download for free from GitHub. We will leave a link to that in the description. This is such an interesting website for us because I mean, I've never seen this. I've never seen a website die like this and then recover without us really doing anything. But not only that, 20,000 pages are now indexed on this website, which is completely mad. This could go up to, you know, we, we could be getting thousands of clicks a day, basically, from 20,000 impressions, uh, 20,000 pages. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this uh, AI SEO case study because I thought it was very, very interesting. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, thank you very much. You're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you're getting tired of working with virtual assistants and you want an AI that can potentially replace them. Okay.